Okay, this is an update video. I would call it a weekly update, but I don't know. Remember the last time I did one of these. So I'll just run through everything real quick. Our tent got moved to its permanent location, which is over near the storage shed. And the tent was right here. These are the supplies for the fence that we're currently building. And what the tent is going to be used for in intermediate is Andrea's mother is actually being finalized so she we can move her trailer out here. And her trailer is going where those four flags are. And so the same people that we got our uh, manufactured home from, they're going to move and set up her single wide. Uh, hers is a small single wide, but according to the state of South Carolina and Horry County, it's classified as a single wide, so that's what we're going to call it. So we've been preparing and doing that. I've also, we've been working on the fence. So let me pan around. Here's one of our corner posts. This is a round post. So pretty much this fence is going to cover about a half acre. And so I, we literally just finished over on the corner over here, putting in our diagonal bracing. So we set six posts today, uh, VO post hole digger and 13 different T posts. So that was fun. But we have a T-post driver now, which is infinitely better than using the sledgehammer, which is what I had been using. So I'll call that a win. Uh, we've also got a lawnmower, finally. And so I spent, I don't know, two or three days in increments, and I mowed this entire area. So now it's all flat, it's all scalped and everything, but we have actually no grass here, it's all weeds. So, I really, we really don't care if it got scalped. Uh, this lawnmower, unfortunately, the shed is closed and I don't have the lock with me and I don't feel like getting it, so I'll show it another time. It's a Husqvarna lawnmower, it's the biggest uh, garden tractor they make and it actually accepts a hitch which we bought, and a small cultivator, which is a disc cultivator that you tow behind it. And we got that also because one of the reasons why we wanted something was to do cultivating for our gardens. Also, while I was, while I was mowing our property, the farmer, which farms the back of our property in the field next door, which is what you see here, they went through and uh, did their uh, brush trimming. So they finished all the brush and then used an articulating lawnmower and uh, on their tractor and did the swale over there. So minus what we've done to our place, this is what the place looked like. Let me pan back over here. This is what it looked like in February when we first came here the first time, which was the February 10th, if I remember correctly, was the first time we actually came out to this property. And so if you see the field back there, this is the condition of the property when we first saw it. So we've done all of this. And uh, on the inside front, Loki, his nickname is now Killer, killed a mouse, and then we also caught another mouse. Uh, this one was a little field mouse, and I actually got a little video of that, so instead of se making a separate video, I'm just going to tack it onto this one. But we actually get to see the mouse this time, because I drug Andrea out with me and made her film it while I released the mouse. So that video is kind of amusing. So. If you want to see what a mouse butt looks like up close, then you stick around to the end of the video and you can see that. And we had our extremely cold weather, just like most of the rest of the country. The manufactured home held out like a champ. Uh, 
According to the USDA, the coldest temperatures that we get, according to the, you know, the USDA garden charts or whatever, zone charts or whatever they call them, uh, is 15 degrees. We actually hit 15 degrees one night, we hit 16 degrees one night, and we hit 17 degrees one night. And for what's unusual for us, we actually had below freezing weather for almost two full days. It was about 40 hours where the temperature was below 32 degrees. That never happens. I've been in Horry County since 2001. I don't think it's ever been below freezing for that long. Uh, it was below freezing long enough that the ground actually froze. Now granted only froze a couple of inches and only for about a day or so but ground still froze but the um, manufactured home itself held out like a champ uh, we didn't have to do anything special with the water uh, make sure pipes didn't freeze we didn't have to have running water or anything the uh, well we have we, we bought that insulated blanket that's on the inside of the house the well house uh, it held up fine. Uh, the coldest the water ever got at the tap was like 50 degrees because I checked it. And so that water never even came close to freezing. And even the doors and windows, I put my hand on the doors or the windows on the glass itself. And it was obviously cool, but it wasn't like cold, cold. Where the house that we sold, which was built in 2007... And our other house, which was in North Myrtle Beach, uh, that was built in 2001 or 2000, it was 2002 when that was built. Those, when it would get really cold, you, you put your hand on the window and it was like ice cold. So the energy efficiency, which has happened since those houses had been built, uh, is definitely a lot better. But I think that's about it. The uh, main thing that we're going to be doing now is getting this part of this fence built. We're going to stretch this fence hopefully tomorrow. Then once that's stretched, we're putting a little fence piece here from the corner of the house right there to this post. And this is going to be the new nighttime area for the guys. Because right now they have this and this was always meant to be temporary. And so they can have about three times as big an area. And then once Andrea's mother is finished, moved, then uh, we're going to finish the rest of the fence. Uh, I'll get the posts in and all that, but I don't want to stretch the fence or anything. Because you see where that clean out is right here. That clean out, that pipe is going to go to her septic tank, which has not been installed yet. Because according to DHEC, even though that's a very small single wide and it's one bedroom, it still requires the same size septic tank as our house does, which is a three bedroom. It's stupid, but that's the way the DHEC rules are. So what, what they have to do is after they move the and set the trailer in place, then they will come in install the septic tank and then tie the septic tank into that clean out which that's what that was designed for because uh the way our permit was was for both of these two houses since we knew that both of them were coming in in very short time period otherwise they would uh, have made us put it in a separate drain field and we didn't want to do that we wanted to do one drain field and be done with it so that hopefully is going to happen around the end of the end of the month. I can say end of the month now because it's technically January 1st. And that's about it. And so all we're going to be doing now is just preparing for this move and finishing this fence. And yeah, it's funny this fence that we're doing we got five gates we got three 12 foot gates and, and two four foot gates and so we're gonna have almost as much gate as we do fence so but the gates are in areas that we need them to so I don't mind the gates and when we got the gates they were on sale at tractor supply because this 
nice blue color was about anywhere from 20 to 40 percent off of the other colors that they had which were red and the aluminum uh, metallic color for some reason those were significantly more expensive so it's like i for significantly less i'll take a blue one <laughs> so that's what we did and the air is on right now so you can hear it and you should be able to hear my voice so i'll see once i finish the video but it's not the quietest one we've ever had but at the same token it's also not the noisiest one we ever had because the original one that we had at the house in merle's inlet that sucker you had to be like 30 or 40 feet from it in order to even have a conversation so all right i'm done rambling now supposed to be a new year's resolution for me not to ramble on videos so i'm already failing at that so i will see you all later okay it's been i don't know about three weeks or so since we had the last mouse well we got another mouse in here this time it's daytime and I'm going to take Andrea outside with me so then she can actually do the camera while I release it. So maybe we can actually see what the mouse looks like. Start. It started. All right, so here we are. We're outside. I'm going to flip the thing up. Hopefully Andrea's not going to scream. So this will be interesting for everybody. And here we go. Nope. False alarm. This mouse is probably going. Let me out. You guys are idiots. <laughs> uh. All right, this is riveting. <laughs> you. Ah! Hey. There he is, little field mouse. He's gone. No, he's right there. Oh. Here, hold that. See, there's his little field mouse butt right there. Okay, so mouse number two. This one with three seats. <laughs>